Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I'm going to be filming my first ever haul video. So I've never actually filmed a haul before, I have been requested in the past to do one and since I have been shopping quite a little bit more than usual lately, I figured that I would show you guys all the things that I bought. So I've just got like a collection of skincare, makeup, some accessories, it's mostly makeup. Before I get started with the video, I actually wanted to ask you guys a favour, so what I want you to do is comment down below and ask me a question. It can be a question about anything, something you want to know about me, just any type of question because in the future I would love to film a Q&A video for you guys so you guys can get to know me on a more personal level. I feel like it would just be a fun video to do. So if you have any questions, any burning questions you've been wanting to ask me, comment them down below and I will Put them in a video and hopefully I get enough so I can do that for you guys. So that's everything I wanted to say before I started this haul. If you want to see what I've been buying for the past few weeks, then just keep on watching. I'll start things off with accessories. So lately I've been so obsessed with buying sunnies. I don't need any more sunnies because I already have a little collection going on as it is. But every time I see a cute pair of sunnies, I have to get them. I don't know why, I'm just so drawn towards them. So the first pair that I have are from H. M. These are just like some gold. Oh, you can totally see my computer <laughs> and my messy table. These are just some gold um, aviator type sunnies. I, I already have a silver pair, a black pair, and I figured I saw these and I was like, yep, yeah, gotta get them. Plus, they were the last pair that I could find. So I was like, it's meant to be, I have to get them. And um, yeah, I think they look cool. So these were only $9.95 from H&M. Another good place to buy sunnies from is Cotton On. They always have really good deals, like two for 20, which is why I bought two pairs of sunnies from there. So the first pair are just these basic, like standard um, tortoise shell. This is like my typical type of sunny that I would buy. I'm all about the tortoise shell kind of print. And this next pair are something that I probably typically wouldn't buy, but they were so cute that I couldn't pass it up. So. Um, this is how they look on and they have these like cute little um, kind of like cat ear type things. They're just black all over but I thought like yeah the little cat ear it reminds me of a cat which is why I'm, call why I'm calling it cat ear but I'm pretty sure that's not what they're called. But yeah and I just figured that they'd be really cool for summer. When I bought those aviator sunnies from H&M I also picked up this bag. So it's like a structured kind of tan um, satchel bag, I guess. I don't know what to call it, but it's pretty small and compact compared to other bags that I would usually buy. And I figured, like, I'm obsessed with this color for the summer. Like, I feel like this is a really summer-friendly color. And I do like that it's structured because that means that I'm not going to lose my stuff in there because the amount of times that I cannot find my car keys or my phone in my bag, ugh, it's just countless. Like, it frustrates me so much. So I thought it was really cool to be able to have such a small bag that was also structured as well. So it's got the strap at the top and then the long strap as well. I don't wear it cross body, I wear it just on one shoulder. And then inside it's got like plenty of pockets, which is good. I hope I'm demonstrating this well enough for you guys. And then inside there is a lot of mess. This was only $30, $29.95 from H&M. So every time winter rolls around, my skin goes insane. It actually goes crazy. It starts breaking out. My pores get huge. I don't know what it is, but my skin hates winter. So lately I've been buying a lot of face masks. And the ones from Formula 1006 are probably my fave. So I've been stocking up on them. You can get them in like the tubes of the product but I prefer the sachets because they're just easier to work with and it gives you the perfect amount for your entire face. So the first couple that I got are the Pores Be Pure ones and these are the skin clarifying mud masks with strawberry and yarrow. I really do like these ones but this one is probably my favorite out of all the Formula 1006, 1006 mud masks. I really do feel like my face um, does notice the difference. As corny as that sounds, my face does end up looking a lot brighter and clearer and um, yeah I just really like this one as well as these so if you can get your hands on them definitely try them out as I said you can pick them up from Priceline for like a dollar fifty to two dollars per two sachets 
Also from Priceline, I stocked up on one of my fave foundations. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. The shade that I have is 22 Radiant Beige. Another product that I picked up from Priceline is a new thing for me and it is the Models Prefer Finale Finishing Powder Compact. This is pretty much just a finishing powder in compact form. The one that I was using previously was loose and let me tell you working with a loose finishing powder is so frustrating because it goes everywhere so when I found this finishing powder in compact form I was like yep gotta pick it up gotta try it and I have used it a few times since I bought it and it's great it does wonders it stops my concealer from creasing and I think this was about $14.95 from yeah, Priceline. The other day I stopped into Target, not specifically to look for these things, but I think I was... I don't even know what I went in there for, but I walked past the makeup aisle as we do and sure enough, every brand of cosmetics in Target was having 30% off, so I was like, I gotta just have a look. I finally have got my hands on the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is an old school mascara, but I've heard so many good things about it that I figured that I may as well try it. So yeah, if you've tried this, let me know how you like it. I also picked up the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm all about the pore erasing because my pores are huge. I have tried this once so far, so I can't really give any type of verdict on it, but it does feel very similar to like Professional, um, the Australis See You Later Pores Primer, things like that. So it does quite the same thing. As most of you would know, Target does stock Chi Chi Cosmetics and of course they too were having 30% off. So I decided to pick up the Super CC Cream. I've been an avid user of their BB Cream for quite some time now. I especially love it for the warmer months because it's just really lightweight and the fact that it has a really good yellow undertone for me especially because my skin is super yellow is really good. This one is in the shade medium and I haven't tried it yet. I just got it but I'm expecting amazing things from this because I have heard good reviews on it and I've been obsessed with the BB cream. I also picked up two lipsticks, one of them which I am wearing at the moment. So the one that I'm wearing at the moment is Shopaholic and I just felt like it was the perfect like warm kind of brown full color. And then the other lipstick that I got is Status. Yeah, Status. And it's this really vibrant orange color. I feel like it'd be the perfect summer shade. And then the last thing I got, which is something that I'm also wearing today, is the Chi Chi Spices palette. This reminds me of the Morphe 350 palette, which I am still waiting to get my hands on. I've been waiting ever so patiently until an Australian stockist is able to get it so I can buy it from them because shipping is no joke when it comes to shipping things from overseas at the moment. It's just way too expensive for me. So yeah, I saw this and I was like, hey, that totally reminds me of the Morphe 350 palette. So I picked it up and I did do a look with these, some of these shadows. So yeah, this is the Chi Chi Spices palette so pretty like I think it's great and let me just show you that color is so pretty oh that one's really nice too love those colors and the matte oh <laughs> as I was saying yeah the matte shades are really good too I also did some sneaky little trips to Mecca so I picked up the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. So this is supposedly good for those who have oil issues, which that's me. I have extreme oil issues. And for those of you who are wondering, this is like the mini version. They do have the bigger ones, but before I invested in the bigger one, I kind of wanted to try the mini one. So Mecca has these in their little like to go section with all the other mini products so if you're looking for them that's where you can find them it won't be on the urban decay stand it'll be like in the little to go stand where they have all the little cute mini products i also had to pick up another um brush head for my clarisonic but i picked up a different one to the one that i usually buy so this is the deep pore brush head it's for enlarged pores which is everything that I have. I have huge pores. I, I can admit to that. I have huge pores. For those of you who have Clarisonics, make sure that you guys are changing your brush heads 
every three months. I feel that's a very important thing to do. It's kind of like changing your toothbrush. You wouldn't keep brushing your teeth with the same toothbrush for a year. You would obviously change it when you need to. So it's really important to change the brush head for your Clarisonic every three months. And the last thing that I picked up from Mecca is the Bare Minerals Original SPF 15 Foundation. I'm really excited to try this out because I have never tried a mineral foundation before. If you guys have tried this, um, leave your opinions on it down below in the comments because I'm really intrigued by it. I just never thought that I'd be the type of person to wear a powder foundation. I don't know, but I think it, it must be better for my skin. I also went to MAC and I picked up two things. So the first one is the MAC Fix Plus. This stuff is amazing. I love it, especially for the warmer weather. It just feels so good to spray across your face. And the second thing I picked up is this beauty right here. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. I am obsessed with this and I'm so glad I got it. It is Perfect, and I have Desi, Queen of Bronze, Desi Perkins to thank for recommending it to the entire world because this stuff is legit. It's amazing. It is so good for my super yellow undertone. Like, I feel like it matches me so well as a bronzer, and it is so pigmented, you guys. This stuff is no joke. I'm obsessed with it, and I will recommend it to everybody because I... I love it. This product I actually bought today and I'm wearing it right now. It's something that I've been meaning to try for the longest time, but I never got around to trying it. And today I was like, hmm, I'm just gonna go have a look at the shades and the next thing you know, I'm buying it. So <laughs> it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. The shade that I got matched to, which is what I'm wearing right now is 2W2 Rattan for $50. This is amazing. I'm wearing it right now and I'm obsessed with it so far. All good things. Like, I'm so glad I picked it up. The only issue I have with it is that it doesn't have a pump. So I'm going to have to try and find a pump that will fit this. The last few things that I have to show you guys are from Lush. And I'm obsessed with Lush bath bombs, soaps, and all of that good stuff. Because our place that we live in now has a bathtub and I've loved, like, just... Taking that time out of my day to take a bath with candles and just relax, it just feels so good actually thinking about it now, I want to go have a bath after this. <laughs> CJ actually purchased these for me, so thanks babe for purchasing these for me, but um, I kind of just need to stock up and I wanted to try some new ones. So, the one that I have been obsessed with, this is the Blackberry Bath Bomb. I seriously wish that I could like let you guys smell these because they smell absolutely divine i could just sit here and smell it i also chose the sex bomb bath bomb this one smells really good too um i did have one of these before but cj actually used it because he wanted to have a bath one night so i was like yeah you should have a bath and he chose this one to use so Oh, I can't stop smelling them. I'm just really excited to try this one out. This one I think is really popular. Like I see a lot of people like to use this one. And from what I saw from the water when Cedar took a bath, the water is pink. So I'm excited for that. Like It's the little things you guys. It's the little things. I also picked up the Comforter Bubble Bar. I love this thing smells so good. Funny story actually, when I went into Lush for the first time to pick out some bath bombs, I thought that these things were like a one-time use only thing and that you just like chuck it in the bath and away you go and she's, the girl's like, oh no, like you want to cut it up and use it in parts. So <laughs> luckily someone told me, otherwise I would have flooded myself with bubbles. The last one that I chose is the Dashing Santa bath bomb. This one just smells really good. And how cute is it? It's like a little Santa Claus. So cute. They have so many um, festive Christmas bath bombs at Lush now already. Even though Halloween hasn't even passed, they already have their Christmas stock out. Actually, a lot of stores already have their Christmas stock out and it's getting me so hyped for Christmas. But I thought I would just pick up one festive bath bomb and maybe I'll get a few more when it gets closer to Christmas because it's a little early to be I don't know I feel like it's a little early to be 
getting into the Christmas spirit. And that's everything, you guys. That is all the stuff that I have bought over the past few weeks. This is my first time ever filming a haul video, so I'm sorry if I rambled on. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys like it and I can perhaps do more in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so you can stay updated with all the videos that I post and follow me on social media. All my links for those will be down below. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Um, after we